So I'm here with Paul Boudreau and Lloyd Dickey to talk about their new book coming out, Awakening Higher Consciousness. And I think we'll just dive right in. So when, how long have you been working together and what got you started on this project? I think it all started for me when I was in Sunday school. The teacher, I had them trying to explain something about the Bible and I could hear myself say, I didn't say it out loud because I was too young, but I said, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what it was about at all. <laughs> Lloyd and I met in 1980 uh, when we started working together. Yeah. And by that point, you had already been to Egypt a couple of times, I believe. Uh, so when Lloyd and I started working, I, for some reason, started to read the Bible from cover to cover. And uh, you found this... Uh, an unusual activity for a young man to be doing. I, I, I sure it, did. <laughs> I think it caught your, your eye, and uh, I think that started the discussion on what you were doing with Egypt. Actually, that started us writing together, didn't it? I think that's right. Our, yeah. our first work was on Genesis. Yeah, that's right. you have been working on this project for about 40 years. You know, <laughs> many different countries, you've, you've seen a lot of different sites that, that you were just mentioning. Yeah. So when did you turn your focus toward ancient Egypt, which is one of the main focuses of this book, Awakening Higher Consciousness? Concentrating on Egypt was, well, you and I actually were there fairly early in my, uh, my travels in Egypt. Yeah, you've made many trips, and I've been on two of them, but uh, yeah. you, uh, you seem to have a, you steered me in those ancient cultures much earlier than I'd imagined. Uh, well, I tell you, I think that the, the uh, ancient temple of, in Abydos of Osiris and, and, and the, the birth of Osiris and the myth of Osiris and so on, you know, it sounded like resurrection and, and awakening and all this sort of thing. So that all religions seem to go through that same evolution of, uh, of you know, finding the the, the so-called savior, and the savior gets crucified or killed or something of the sort, and then he has to reawaken. So I began to be suspicious that this might be, might be a kind of a analogy for something else. <laughs> and that certainly intersected my interest in the Bible and my upbringing as Roman Catholic and all the Christian stories I heard. And, uh, to find that there was something that was before those stories was really fascinating. Yeah. Man comes up with the same ideas all the time. So this has been over and over again, and you hear, you find it in different places. Stated quite differently. I just was noticing the cover of the book, and it says awakening as the small letters, and then higher consciousness is big stuff. <laughs> and maybe it is, but uh, it seems to me that higher consciousness is... Uh, Higher consciousness is something that people can can get on to. You have to be conscious, and most of us are most of the time, a little bit. A little bit. But then there is another state that you get into. And that seems to, it's called higher because I think it's, you're, you're raised up somehow or other. And uh, I'm pretty sure that that was a, a characteristic of the ancient civilizations as much as it is of the modern time. <laughs> Maybe now after our book we know a little bit more what, we, uh, what it was all about and, and how it fits to, uh, to the culture today as much as back then. So it's been a lot of fun. Long journey and a lot of fun. So. <laughs>